When you first install Orion SAM, you'll find a number of application-oriented resources added to your default home view. The default resources will give you an overall health status of your applications and an inventory list of all monitored applications in your environment. You'll also see a new Applications tab added. Hovering over this, you can access additional views and insights into your application environment. Let's take a look at the Application Summary page. This page will provide you with additional details about your applications and servers. By default, you'll find some great information here. Details of any applications with alerts set against them, a summary of any potential warranty issues on your servers, and top 10 lists to keep you up to date on your busiest servers. There's a lot you can do to customize these pages to make them even more relevant to your environment. There may be servers with a constant high RAM load or CPU load, for example, because of the normal workings of that application. You may want to remove those servers from your top 10 list to get additional visibility on other servers. To do that, edit the resource and add an SQL filter to filter out those servers or those applications, like this. If you're not sure about the SQL syntax to use, you'll find a range of help available from this link. Click Submit and your resource will save the customization. Filtering nodes from one single resource will not filter them from all resources. Let's take a look at how to customize this page or view, adding, moving, or removing resources to it. At the top of the page, you'll see a link, Customize Page. You can also customize this page by clicking on Settings and going to Manage Views. Both will take you to the same place. Clicking on the green plus button here, you'll notice there's a large number of application resources you can add to this application summary view. Note that the same resources might not be available on all view types. So if you are customizing a non-application object page, you won't see the same options. Group the resources by type or by feature to get a more goal-oriented view of what's available. Choose the resources you need, multiple if you like, and click Add to add them to the view. You can also choose to add multiples of the same resource filtered for different items. For example, you could add top 10 monitored processes by CPU load and filter that specifically to your Exchange applications. Bear in mind, however, that each additional resource you add to these views will add additional workload to retrieve that information from the database. If you're finding a page suddenly slow to load, you may be overloading it with too many resources. If you find that's the case, then use the left navigation option to allow you to break the view up into multiple smaller pages with a tab navigation on the left. Once additional tabs have been created, select the resources you would like to move and click Move to a different tab. You'll need to select the correct tab and column for these resources, but you can always go back and adjust the resource placement further until you have it just right. To find out more about customizing views and resources, check out our videos on adding and managing views and customizing menu bars.